Oh, Denny, based on caloric density and epidemiological research, we know that the obesity problem today has as an etiological agent the diet. Dr. Deal, I'm sorry, I didn't really understand a word that you said. Can you, could you rephrase that where maybe myself and some of the viewers at home could understand that? I mean, this is frustrating. I wish I could have them raise their hands. How many just understood what he said? Say, I don't see any hands. I mean, what? we go to school all these years and then we're told no one understands you anymore. You know what, sometimes if you draw us a picture, that would help us. What I'm talking about now is could you show us? Or maybe some examples. Sure. Some illustrations. Show me what you're saying. Illustrations. Can you do that? Okay. All right, good. Thank you. Well, I hated to do that, but on the other hand, I think you and me, we need all the help we can get. I know I do, but I think Dr. Deal is just the person that we need to show us. Yes, indeed. How do we translate scientific jargon? scientific evidence so that it becomes meaningful and helpful to people. How do we do this? Today, I want to spend a few moments in talking with you about obesity, a growing epidemic. It's a very complex issue, but at the very core, we find the issue of how do we eat? And something has happened in the last 50 years. You know, grandma, didn't buy the food as we do it today. Grandma used to go out into the garden. She used to go out to the fields. And sometimes she would go to the general store. And the foods that she would have were usually foods as grown. But that all changed with food technology and marketing technology. Today's food comes in boxes, frozen, sugared, salted, engineered, and sold to us as convenience foods and as taste sensations. Yet, there's a price to be paid, not just financially, but also we have to pay a price in that food processing usually tends to concentrate the calories. What happens is that the volume decreases when you process food, but the number of calories becomes larger so that you have now a calorie concentration, small in size, but loaded with calories. Let me give you some examples how it really looks today. This is what food concentration is really all about. You can have one tube of Pringles, as you see here. This is 1,120 calories with plenty of salt and plenty of fat, or you could have 11 potatoes. The number of calories are exactly the same. But wouldn't it take you much more time and effort to eat these potatoes rather than the packaged ones that you see here, processed food? Or take a look at this example. You can have an apple pie a la mode, and we can have those ones in a while, but here you have 480 calories, and they go down very easily. Or you could have the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, six apples. But think of how much more effort and time it takes to eat these apples, food as grown, packaged by the master designer. Or take a look at these little fig bars. They look very innocent. Right there you have about 60, 100 calories. And they're gone in no time. Or you could have half a cantaloupe, again, the same number of calories. But you see, it takes you much more time, and you have much more fiber, and much more of the nutrients that are giving you the health that you want. You can take one of these candy bars, 510 calories. They're gone, two minutes flat, right? Yeah. Two minutes, 510 calories, plenty of sugar, plenty of fat. Or you could take 500 calories in this form, and now you have to eat all of this. And how many of you could eat all of this in two minutes? Do you see? The principle here is eat food as grown, the way it comes to us in nature, and you can eat more. 
So when you look at food now, begin to look at food a little bit differently because it can make all the difference. Here, you take uh, two and a half ounces of vodka and an innocently looking half a cup of nuts and you have 740 calories. Most people can take care of that in very little time. On the other hand, if you would take 740 calories in food as grown, you would have to eat more than five pounds of fruit. That's right. Look at all the food that you have to eat to get the same number of calories that you have in a drink and some nuts. Amazing, isn't it? Here's another example. You take a popular double cheeseburger and you have some french fries and right there you have about a thousand plus calories and most people can consume them quite rapidly. On the other hand, you can also have one of these garden burgers or Boca burgers. They're usually very, very low in fat and they're cholesterol free um, and you instead of the french fries might have a baked potato and now you have 250 calories. Do you see, you don't have to change everything. You just have to make some wiser, smarter choices and you can cut your calories dramatically from 1,000 plus to 250. And then look at this one here. This is one of these uh, special banana splits, a commercial one, over 25 teaspoons of sugar, some 1,000 calories. And what we recommend is uh, a banana split is nothing else but a banana that you split. That's right. That's a banana split. But then you fill it in with banana slush. It's a kind of a frozen banana that we have blended. And you can put this between the uh, two half bananas and then you have your favorite fruits there and look at the colors. That's life at its best. You can have this here for breakfast, for yourself, for your kids. Some people call this a candied cereal. Because you see, 50% of the calories in this breakfast cereal is sugar. 200 calories when you add your milk. Or you can perhaps go to grandma's specialty of yesterday and you have some of these unrefined um, cereal products. And I want to show you just a little trick here. My wife has trained me very well in the art of preparing breakfast. But I have still an edge over her because I don't do the breakfast. The crock pot works for me. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a crock pot. And that little gadget does all the work for me. I fill it up at night, I go to bed, it works, I sleep, and the next morning I have a wonderful, steaming hot breakfast. But here's a little trick. My wife said to me, when you prepare breakfast, it's not just that you prepare it, but I also would like you to clean up after yourself. Now, that's not what we men usually bargain for. So I didn't clean up what to do, but I found an answer. I found this little gadget here, fat-free cooking. It has a little bit of fat in it. And what I do, I spray the edge so that the food does not stick the next morning to the inner surface. And that makes life much easier for me. And all I do now is uh, I'm preparing food for three, four people in our home. I have four cups of water. And then I just have one cup of any kind of cereal. And I'm really not too fussy. Um, I, I have prepared here some seven grain cereal. I have some huitina. I can have some Quaker barley. I can have some oats. Just about one cup of these kind of grains. One to four. And for good measure, I add a few cranberries and I add a little bit of uh, dates. And maybe I put a bit more of these cocoa flakes and I go to bed and I sleep like a baby and the next morning my breakfast is ready easy to do healthy cold winter day excellent and all you need to do now is if you want to add a little bit more of some wheat germ if you want to really make it delicious that nutty flavor 
You can use some silk milk or any kind of non-dairy milk, especially if you are lactose intolerant. It's an excellent way to go. And then you just add some fresh fruits on top, some apples that you cut up, or you might have some mandarin oranges left, or some bananas. You have two or three, four slices of good bread, and you're ready for the day. You're ready to go out there and to conquer the world. So, from now on, you want to take a different look at the world of food, at breads, at cereals, at fruits. That's all there for you, and you can all enjoy it. You begin to see how you can become a winner in the losing game and losing one to two pounds of extra weight a week. How? By eating more. That's right. And as you eat more foods as grown, naturally packaged, you will have more fiber, you will have more vitamins, you will have more minerals, you will have more antioxidants, and you have a much larger volume of food to enjoy. How do you lose weight? By eating foods as grown more and when you do you don't feel deprived of food and moreover you're going to be saving money with this kind of a program and with the money that you save oh you invest this in that brand new wardrobe that you will need so don't settle for the good life no Live the best life, and the best life is a simplified lifestyle where you put more time into meaningful relationships, you eat more foods as grown, and you take that daily 30-minute walk. That's the best life. And you, too, can turn things around. You, too, can have the best life coming to you now. I'm Dr. Hans Deal from the Lifestyle Medicine Institute and from the CHIP program. Healthy, not by chance, but by choice.